So OpenAI has recently released their new model, which is ChatGPT 4.0 with Canvas. That allows us to create better code and just create better content. But have you so far wondered what are the best scenarios where we can use Canvas? I mean the use cases where Canvas feature really shines. And we've got a huge difference between using actually the typical ChatGPT and ChatGPT with Canvas, because the second option is much more effective for that case. So in this video, I will show you five useful use cases and fields where overall using ChatGPT with Canvas is much more effective rather than using typical ChatGPT. And even before we start, remember that on this channel, you've got the full guide on how to use from start to finish ChatGPT with Canvas. So here we are just previewing this one case, so this one feature, and I'm guiding you step by step how to use that and all of the options that you have with this one tool. The first field where ChatGPT with Canvas really shines and it's much more effective than typical ChatGPT is brainstorming ideas. So for instance, I've got the following prompt. I'm planning a workshop about future technologies and AI innovations. Can you help me brainstorm some unique and creative session ideas, interactive activities, and topics that will engage participants? So here I can run it. And why did I say that ChatGPT with Canvas is much more effective rather than typical ChatGPT? Because here, remember, we would like to brainstorm the ideas. Therefore, this is a simple fact that we would like to have a lot of different cases, ideas, and overall the inspiration for our content or even any other case. And here we've got the first one simple fact, um, which is a huge advantage, is that we can, for instance, edit the text. So we can actually delete some part, add some part, add the new ideas. So whenever we are brainstorming something, we can add additional data and overall just do everything quicker rather than just creating the new prompts, waiting for the response um, and actually using the chat GBT in a typical way. Also what we can do next, and this is very powerful. I've got another piece of the content. And now for instance, let's say I would like to ask about another um, engaging and fun activities. So I can type something like, what are the, um, let's say, engaging and fun activities? So copy this part. And here, what will happen? We'll have like some additional information in the sidebar. And this content doesn't change, which is very important. And by this way, we can brainstorm our ideas. So here, just ask for additional data and there already have our content. And now look at that. I can go over here, copy that and provide it for instance there. So I can manipulate my entire response. So overall kind of have two chats within my one chat with ChatGBT Canvas, which is again, very, very powerful. The next one very unique use case is to actually create the template for our to-do list and afterwards fulfill it with our information. So right there, I've got a template and here I can specify my tasks. So for example, I have four tasks to include in the table. And we can even type decide about priority. So it will fulfill for us this. And here I can provide my tasks. So for example, feed the doc. Um, let's say schedule a meeting with the client improve the SEO of my website and even actually send the email to my boss. And overall there also I can type everything should be done within two days. However, some activities that are important set there one day to do. Kind of, we can do this by this way. And here it will change our data and fulfill our table with our activities, with the priority. Um, here we've got the status, we've got the due date, which is very, very important. So overall we can create some visual type of the content and afterwards fulfill it with our information. Next amazing field to use our ChatGBT canvas is to create any outlines guides, or even any other type of the instructions content. So here, for example, there I've got the outline for the YouTube video about 10 the most adorable cat breeds. And what I can do, and this is especially very great when it comes to the canvas, 
I can go ahead, pick some part of the text, and for example, type. Um, please expand for me this part. Explain me step by step what should be inside. So kind of do this by this way. And this is again really cool because without any other chats, within ChatGBT or even external applications, we can overall expand this one data in the sidebar and afterwards, for instance, even add it. So I can go over, copy that and add instead of this content. So we expand specific parts of my outlines, the guides, even ask for the further instructions if I don't understand something or I've got some problems, which is very, very great. And generally, ChatGBT with Canvas is a game changer when it comes to creating step-by-step -step guides um, or even any instructions. The next interesting use case is overall structurizing the data. And here again, Canvas really shines. Because for example, let's say I've got some data and in a mere seconds, I can type something like, so let me pick the entire text and I can go over here. Include inside number at least, um, bulleted points, and overall um, structurize it. And after I click on that, it will overall change my content. In a mere second, just look at that. We've got our any piece of the content in a specific form, transformized in the form we exactly want without any problems. And here again, I'm using ChatGPT with Canvas very often. And when it comes to this one case, so let's say even um, you've got some piece of the text um, that you would like, for example, to have in the text form. So here, provide text form without any um, bullet points. So even you can choose the specific parts. Um, yeah, so kind of do it everything like this. And the last one use case for now, which is no surprise, is creating written content. So any article, blog post, just any written content, because again, this is amazing, like the canvas. Just look at that. I can take this part and I can type. Um, please expand that. So please expand it significantly. And there, just look at that. It will take this part and it will expand it. So here we'll have really long text. Also, I can type, um, for example, there, include only three the most important um, points, kind of like that. So we decide, we customize, we do everything with our content as we wish, without any problems. And again, we are doing everything inside of just one single chat. So this is pretty everything. In today's video, we covered five fields where using Canvas with ChatGBT can be very useful and actually even better rather than using typical ChatGBT. So I hope you like that. Remember about leaving the like, hitting the subscribe button, and I will see you in the next one video.